What are you doing out here, you might ask? Well, that's a good question. Uh, Wolverine and Blade are here because we're hunting a Barghest. You know, as you do. So, let's see what happens. Barghest hunt challenge mission. Hunter, <laughs> All right. hold on just a moment. What is it, Doctor? I doubt that portal is going to stay open forever. The creature you've been pursuing, I suspect now it may be some kind of Hydra experiment or worse. The Barghest? I thought we had all accepted its mythical origins. I'm skeptical that the beast just jumped from the pages of ancient lore. No, there's something else afoot here. We had planned on putting it down regardless of where it came from. Actually, if you could bring it in alive, I think there may be a great deal we could learn from it. No promises, Doctor. You do remember who my hunting partners are? Yes, I realize you're all very eager, especially Wolverine, but do your best. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. Defeat the Bargast. Lilith's revenants have been controlling the Bargast. Defeat them and the Bargast to end the hunt. Revenants and any soul-bound enemies must all be KO'd in the same turn to be truly defeated. I think we learned about this during the set trial, maybe? If any soul-bound enemy has health remaining at the end of the turn, all KO'd soul-bound enemies will be revived. It is just as I suspected. Hydra. I knew they were behind this Right. The pieces all came together a bit too perfectly. You're telling me all that mythical creature hype. Look came at the down health pool. What? At least now we know for sure. Okay. So these are the only two soul bound right now. And they also have the blood hunger, which is I guess why bleed or why bleed. Why blade is on this mission. He might as well be called bleed. Fine. Uh, because they're going to target the last unit to gain bleed. So part of the trick here is going to be distributing bleed to the enemies so that they get targeted. And... Yeah, that's part of the trick. <laughs> Alright, so first things first. We're going to look at clearing out some of the extra units with Quick Strike. We're going to start here. You asked for it. I'm hoping with Make Him Bleed, we can draw one of his chains. That would be some for the rest ideal. Uh, Mindbender here, potentially good. Just trying to figure out who we would put this on. What, like, oh, okay, this is the Bark. Yeah, it makes sense. It's the Bargus that has 2 billion health. Uh, setting up for something in here would be good. So if we can consider... Who he's attacking actually blade right here is pretty decent um okay Don't ah! i'll put this to good use well it's not exactly what we were hoping for but daywalker applies bleed to four units so that's kind of cool I'm wondering if I could get this guy included. One, two, three, four. I don't know if we're going to be able to chain that far. Oh, yes, we can. So we take out one of these, but we make sure that they both attack whichever unit. And actually, it's the last... the last unit to gain bleed. So realistically, we should apply it to the Bargast last to start chewing through that, right? One... Two. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to use this as a as a part of the chain. Two, three, four. Push me too far. No hesitation. Oh, he got cold Man blooded too. My own heart. Who did he trigger cold blooded on? This one. Oh, okay. So, because Cold-Blooded triggered, triggered after, they're actually targeting the Mystic. Which is like, you know, what are you going to do? Right? What are you going to do in this scenario? Not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot you're going to do, okay? Uh, 
Do we have any stuns out here? No. Wolverine's gonna get attacked by a Mystic. This Mystic is not doing anything currently. I feel like this guy's gonna hit <laughs> very hard. Gain a vulnerable? I mean, if there was a time where I was gonna gain a vulnerable, it would be here. Because we're not getting attacked by anything. He still has make him bleed, but playing this next time means we get um, more blade cards. I could also use Mindbender to get rid of these, but I feel like that's a bit wasteful. I think we use our shove here just to clear the two. Maybe it's time you quit this racket. Okay. Plenty of environment stuff, obviously. I don't mind the mind bender. I feel like we could wait for the caller to trigger before using Wild Strike. So two things. We could go here, so they attack this unit, which ultimately just distributes their health between the two, which is kind of fine, I guess. Or we could have her attack the Bargast, which is maybe the right thing to do. Because that's the target. We do have to defeat all enemies, but this guy just has so much health. And maybe ultimately he'll get soulbound, and then we just have to kind of like whittle them down piece by piece. Uh, but Blade's going to be crucially important here. What are our combat items, by the way? Because we didn't get to pick. Anti-material charm, useless. Uh, select a hero, apply two mark to all enemies targeting them, and we have a free move. Interesting. Two mark to all enemies targeting them. Okay, well... Maybe that would have been good to use at the start there. Hard to say. I wonder how much damage this Bargus does. I mean, Blade's gonna find out. Okay, so that first one didn't take the knockback damage into the wall. This is pretty good. Uh, Wolverine's not in there, but we could also just have him do this to move him further away. Kiss a good boss. Okay. We have some redraws here. I feel like... The KO and resist is obviously nice, but... Let's ditch that. And I'm gonna ditch this one too. Too many other things we're gonna need to play. Last Sight could be good. We will not fail! 320 plus corruption? Like, oh my god. I don't know if we have uh, his lifesteal card in here. We do we do have a dark heal, so we could potentially cure that, but we have to draw it. I 
Okay, so they are still targeting the Hydra Mystic. I got the Dark Beetle. Bring the creature back in one piece. I still need to study it when you're done. Might not be up to us, Doc. This is a problem. That thing gets feisty. From Wolverine. No uh, this one's going for Hunter. I could avoid that potentially. So, this is obviously a good target, but because of corruption, that makes Blade a little scary. He's taking 320 damage. Yeah, I, I, I have to heal him. For a friend in need. Okay. So, we don't have to worry about their targeting. This Mystic summoned up this thing, whatever. Uh, I kind of want to go, I'm going to, let's redraw a wild strike here. Ooh, that's actually pretty decent. Because he needs the heal, but I feel like summoning reinforcements and attacking Wolverine. No instant KO chance there. This would be a decent time to do our drop. That's a ton of damage. That's a ton of damage. Uh, so if I do this... Then I could probably last sight here. I wonder if these guys will retarget onto the units that had bleed. We have the resist here now too, which is kind of cool. Uh hmm. So one thing I kind of like here is maybe this knockback. I'm just looking. I wonder if I moved Wolverine here. If I could knock this unit underneath as well. It's The distance is kind of tough to gauge. But I think I got to look at it. I mean, I think that looks pretty good. And they'll be vulnerable. I mean, Wolverine might go down. I, I do have uh, the rapid healing, but... I almost feel like that might be wasted. Tempting to go to the hunter too, but I don't think we end up in the right spot. Time. These guys might end up shuffling too, because they're kind of close to each other. I saw oh, nice. Like that okay, so that's ago. actually great news for us. Now... <laughs> The downside of KOing them is that we can pretty easily manipulate who they attack, so I'm like, do I want to? Look, at the end of the day, this one's gonna get revived anyway. Right? But then they're at they're at much lower health. So it kind of makes them easier to deal with in the future. Then I'm hoping I can last sight here. But Wolverine's gonna fall. But he gets the KO card. Or he gets the revive card as well. Done waiting. 
I wonder if... I mean, you could argue it would have been better to do the knockback there. Sorry, you guys might hear Walter. Oh, this is not enough. This is not enough for last sight. Okay, there is hope. I could... I could hope... I could hope to redraw, like, a free, uh... Mind control. <laughs> but I mean, that is literally just a hope. We can drop the box. The only way I could do this is hitting this guy from this angle. But we don't have a move for that. Oh, wait, do I? Yes, I do. Now, the issue here is that... <laughs> I'll kind of want to do this in a way that doesn't KO this unit. I just want this damage to be applied, and I want it to slide, like, over here so that I can last sight, so that we don't take the Vargas damage. Right? Uh... Yeah. Should get the blood pumping. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's one fifteen. Maybe this oh, two thirty. That's a lot of damage. This could hit both, though. That would KO them. But then maybe I just KO this and get it done with. But I, I feel like I feel like having them alive to just pound into the Bargus, right? You just bleed the Bargus so that they keep attacking. And I, I do I I feel like that's easily manipulated. Okay, here's what's gonna be better. We're gonna move over here. We're going to leap. We're going to attack this one. And it's going to use less heroism. A pointless endeavor. Now it's I'm curious to see how they're going to retarget, if at all. That's nice for the caller, too. Okay, now it's targeting... The high... Okay, I guess it's targeting this mystic. Fine. Fine. So he's gonna go down. There is a world where I maybe want to have this, but let me redraw lethal pounce here. Okay. Apply two mark to all enemies targeting them. That's the only thing that we have. Blade has this. That's quite a bit of damage I should not pass up on. Get some. Okay, so I think we- I do believe that we have, like, the puzzle aspect figured out. Now it's just executing. Come get it. Blade absolutely needs to stay alive. And apply bleed attacks to this guy. And then we save these till the end. But they're gonna be really low now anyways, which is nice. They're gonna attack here, which will be helpful. And, uh, Wolverine's gonna fall here. Which is fine. I can live with that. An enduring pain. 
<laughs> huh. <Keep an> <laughs> he just kind of like flops. Equalized. Anyone that touches me is going down. Hydra seems quite intent on protecting the bar guest. I would think that's a good indicator of its potential value to us. Or maybe Hydra just doesn't like us and the dog is irrelevant. Did Tony put you up to this, or are you just providing color commentary out of personal curiosity? I'm just here to make sure no innocent dogs are harmed by your theories. <sighs> okay. So... If I go quick strike here, we get rid of that one, which is fine. These guys are attacking the Mystic, which is uh, fine. The Bargus is attacking Blade, and the Bargus can apply the Corruption, which is bad. We do want to start getting the Bargus bleeding now. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, it's kind of funny. This will be good next turn, I think. The reason this is funny is because I you don't want to consume the bleed stacks. So in a way, like I could apply this here. That would be my second card play. But then I have to make sure that I have a Hunter card. Or, I'm sorry. I have to make sure that I, I draw a Blade card. Let's see... What we can get here. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so... We have... A big Reaper there. Then I potentially just have a Knockback. Like this. And that looks like it's going to be enough. I can even start there just to make sure. So we shove. We Reaper there for all the extra damage. Because it applies the two bleed, then consume. So it's basically consuming three bleed. Right? That's my second card play. And then I come and I strike, 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 strike. And if he's vulnerable... Which is a pretty good chance because we're doing three attacks. Pretty cool. And he's going to have like six bleed. Which... <laughs> I love how that when the music just cuts out, you're like, hello? Um, the other option... Is... Saving Reaper. For all these bleed stacks. But I could try to just draw through to get that again. That's better, thank you. We also have an Annihilation coming up. That could be a really good finisher. Not to be discouraged. Yeah, so that KO's there. And then I go strike, 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 strike. All the strikes. Um, I could even do this right now so that the card play is free. I think that's that's the play. But healing on the next turn is going to be pretty nice because this guy's going to hit me hard. That's the thing. But if I go hunger here, we get the mark. I get this card play for free. So it's going to KO him. Then all the strikes. 
And then I can even quick strike there, and he'll take. Oh, this isn't our. This isn't our better quick strike. It's not our better quick strike. Uh, but I could all out. I could all out on the Vargas. And that's a pretty decent amount of damage. We might even redraw like a free Mindbender off of that because we haven't seen that yet. They're mine. Man, it kind of, it's funny like these revenants where they only deal or like they, they, they always attack bleed units like that just makes blade so valuable when they're there. So like, but you never know when they're there. <laughs> These fanatics are always the same. Okay, so now they're targeting the mystic, which is gone, but that's going to change. So we're going to go all the bleed. Here it comes. Give the mother my regards. Okay. In hell. So he got cold blooded on that too. So he's going to take a ton. Which means, oh man, if we could draw through to that card again, that would be really nice. We don't have any moves here. These guys are attacking the Bargast. Discard Annihilation. Let's see if we get a Mindbender. There, we got two. Now I teach them to fear me. We got two. And another caller. That's amazing. So how much bleed is he taking now? 236. Damn. I'm going to hold off on using this. I think they're going to... They might KO him here. Uh, 236. Mm, we'll see. And we still... No, we don't. I was going to say, we still have an obsidian color in the bank. This shall be of great help. I don't have any more moves, but Blade could drop this, but it's kind of not good. That's the cool thing about this. I can't drop this one anywhere. Let's just let it go. Okay, no corruption there. So I'd like to know more about how that gets applied. I think it might die from the bleed here. Yep. We got this. I don't know what Tony has been telling everyone, but the bar guest is an omen of death. A demonic entity that has likely taken many innocent lives over the centuries. Of all people, I thought you would understand the nature of the beast, Logan. Again, please. That's funny. Okay, so his his attack is nullified, but now I need to figure out how I can do... Oh, yeah, we got this. Okay. We put this on, we go Daywalker, or Chain, or whatever. Let's, let's revive Wolverine just so he can finish the battle on his feet. It's free anyway. Just what I need. And let's see if we get like a fancy way of destroying them. Wild Strike's kind of cool. All Out's kind of cool. Let's let, let's let uh, Blade do it. Vampires are not the only ones who that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. I almost got rid of those two almost too quickly. 
without thinking about it. Um, that does give me some reconsiderations on that Ghost Rider card that I got rid of, where it's like a 50% chance to bleed on his um, Drained Souls. We don't have it anymore, but... I can't help but feel that it's... It's just made B Blade's rankings go up so much higher, and it's scary because... Your magic He's not be the powerful, best in every Doctor, situation. But I am still impressed you managed to contain the Bargast. No less impressive than your efforts to capture it, Hunter. I believe in its weakened state, the creature will remain bound here. And what do you plan on doing with it now? The first step will be carefully transporting the beast down to the forge. A delicate operation I plan to handle personally. Why don't you come by tomorrow before I begin the actual research? I'll know more then. Cool. So, why are we keeping this thing alive? The material properties of the animal skin are amazing. Uh, sounds like serial killer talk to me. <laughs> we need to understand how Hydra was able to create something like this. You're on your own getting it back to the forge. Yes, you guys got this under control. Man, you see the teeth on that thing. Okay. Pretty nasty. Bye bye then. Good girl, Charlie. All right, there's not really anything else I can do, hey? Seriously, this is about I guess it's Betty Bye. Or do we have any uh, chests that are closed? Yep. Oh yeah, but I said I was gonna wait for these, didn't I? I keep I keep forgetting that. We'll take the the rare ones because they're free. I feel like we are gonna be going for uh, Scarlet Witch soon. Okay, nice. I wouldn't mind a world where you could get a certain upgrade late game, like where we're at, where you don't have to go to these. You can just open them literally from the back. Focusing lens, okay. Ghost Rider, bunch of pallets for his Midnight Sun suit, which I didn't even put on him yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's really cool. Midnight Sun's five. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Any combat bonus will do. I'm not picky. Mercury Totem. Draw a card with Quick. That's kind of convenient. Obsidian of Thame. We've taken that out to mission a couple times. We've never played it. Was this bowl always here? Okay, I don't have any more. Fair enough. Um.
Give me something out of the spooky chest. Hey, there we go. Increased by one for two turns. That's great. Okay, time to sleep. Looks like that chest is reclosed. New abilities, hero walk completed, research, go to the forge. Spider-Man, question for the crowd. Has Johnny Blaze always been like this? A uh, grade A platinum level jerk. Uh, the living embodiment of ungracious. Hey, cut him some slack. He's been through a lot. Kid, don't fight a battle you're going to lose. Blaze has been a jackass as long as I've known him. I thought you were his friend. Of course I am. It's why we get along. I always know where he stands. Excellent. Who's got the request here? Cap? Hey, can I ask a favor? Purchase and equip a new Steve Rogers cosmetic item. Oh, absolutely. And Hunter Willpower. Thanks, Hunter. Easy peasy. Uh, let's go into here, maybe. We could look at his common suit. Go something black. U.S. Agent, Steel Wind, Night Shift is kind of cool. We could rock the night shift a bit. I think I might actually prefer that. This one's a little bit blockier. Awesome. Thanks, Hunter. Easiest friendship ever. Hmm. Calming your inner hmm. demon. Okay. We know who that's for, obviously, since we've used it. I took care of that for you. Oh, nice. So she came in with Witchfire modded, where it adds extra heroism. We want to upgrade that. I can't remember which... If we have both of her other ones upgraded or not. What's the latest intel? Okay, I need a Wolverine one here. Really good intel here. We've got a lot to Two go Two epic modded abilities. These are the current priorities. Okay, so this is oh sick. Myself, but I have been accused of hogging the ball before. Okay, so the previous ones had somebody uh, already picked. Now we have these bonus rewards for if they're a mutant or if it's a midnight sun. Really, really, really cool. So we could put our mutant in here. Oh my god. Okay, so he needs to be at level 22. Fine. I could threat room him. Epic modded here. Ghost Rider's a pretty good option for me, but so is she. Um... Okay, let's let's figure out what we're doing next. I do feel like it's a magic mission, Thanks, and I'm Hunter. I feel like I can't even look. You're looking stronger than ever. I do feel like she uh, has I that injury, admit, so I have to put her in for therapy. I'm confident that the bar guest would be taken alive, but if anyone could do it. And now you will do something terrible to the beast. Not necessarily. The barrier protecting Doctor Banner's facility functions on a simple premise. Only demons can pass through it. So, all we need is a way to disguise the hunter as a demon. I told you before, well, I'm that's not all we turning need. that dog into a cape. And I told you, it is not a dog. Besides, I don't think a cape will be enough. You wouldn't dare. My hope is that we can synthesize a facsimile of the bar guest's skin to fool the barrier without harvesting the creature itself. This really is a bizarre plan, even for you. If you want to reach the Gamma Accelerator, this is our best and only hope. More importantly, Doctor, is reaching Wanda. I don't like it, but if the creature must be sacrificed for her... Having this much demonic energy concentrated on you, Hunter, that? is not an insignificant risk. I just hope your collar can withstand... Let me worry about that, Doctor, after you have proven out your plan. 
I had like my audio was cutting out. I don't know if that happened to you guys or not, but hopefully not. Okay, so we need to talk to Magic. I want an alpaca. Oh, can I not do Excuse this stuff? Me? The creature is restless. The sooner we start our research, the better. What happens to the creature after you are finished? That is up to you. Oh, no! <laughs> no! It came from hell. Send it back home. He's not gonna like that. As you wish. What? I saw you petting it this morning. You are mistaken. I was taking a blood sample. Oh, does that require feeding it a fistful of treats? Have you come to vent about Strange's plan? I did my best not to be rude. <laughs> to his face, at least. You do not believe it will work. No, I don't. But I do know that Wanda is on the other side of that barrier. And the Doctor may be our only hope of reaching her. He cares about Wanda, too. Do not forget that. Stark may be after this Gamma Accelerator. But the Doctor is clearly focused on Wanda. That's why I did not rip apart his idea from the beginning. I know we both want the same thing. It could be worse. You could be the one who has to actually wear <laughs> the dog armor. <laughs> True. You are the guinea pig once again. Thank you for the talk, Hunter. I feel slightly better about our chances. Can we please just get this research? Demon going? Child Research. That okay, so that's the other the suit. Wall. Who is a good girl? It is, it my, is my Charlie, Charlie girl. girl. Okay. Demon child. Yep. Well, I can't do these other ones until I get a hero up for Wolverine, and I need his level to be up there, so this is actually perfect timing. How's it going, boss? Always up for a challenge. Pretty good. Thank you, Tone. Sometimes I even <laughs> impress myself. So many mind benders. Now, uh, summoning in for two turns is kind of nice. The other nice benefit to this is that it is an extra target. So when you have reinforcement like this, they come in for one turn, but enemies already have their targets set up, so it doesn't really matter. But now that they come in for two turns, Another you can be a little bit more think. messy with that, and it could cause some problems, because if they get KO'd or something, it doesn't really matter. So, there is reason to, to upgrade it. Savage... On KO, draw a card, and another Mind Breaker. Okay. Uh, these are all heroics. Let's redraw... Uh, this one has a mod on it. Let's redraw this heroic. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, make him bleed with mods is, could be kind of neat. If you get that to be free or something, that would actually be Big Tony super of mystery. We huge. Never close. Mm. I feel like we're better off just modding our existing ones instead of taking this one and then upgrading it and then modding it. We'll take this for a potential upgrade and consider putting that in there. And then... We'll take the Savage so we can remove the mod and then salvage the card. See you, Hunter. Okay. So that's gone. So we have to wait till tomorrow to find out anything about the Bargast. Let's see what's here. Okay, so the main mission... Oh, I see. Okay, it requires Demon Child Research. Fine. Cool. 
So let's capture Hydra Agent for another artifact with Intel. There's credits here, and there's essences here. Summoning Circle, hard, but Iron Man. So you're kind of like, is it? <laughs> I think um, having the artifacts would be good. Because if we look here, we do need to get to 11. That would be our highest artifact to date. And that just gets that done. I don't mind the essences, obviously. Capture Hydra Agent there. And it's easy, so maybe it's maybe it's a quick mission. And we could maybe get a couple in. But this gives us an opportunity to get her healed up. And then she'll have a combat bonus going into the main mission. You insist? Okay. And then what I'm going to do... See you around. Back again. Don't stress it too much. There's Don't we no have two copies of the non-upgraded? Oh, I wonder if <laughs> did I? Uh, I may have done something there. Hold on. Let's upgrade this other witch fire. Oh yeah. Okay, this is upgrading the modded one. That's fine. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop. Full combo apply one week. It's an interesting possibility All right, then. okay so now she has two witch fires in here this one is modded and upgraded this one is not and this one is modded with the extra heroism but the taunt so let's salvage this one I mean, man, I do like having the curse in there. Situationally, is super, super nice. And power has paid off for us a couple times. 25% chance to apply marked. It's decent to try and re-roll that. Um, what I'm going to do is stop the episode here. I'm going to run Wolverine through the threat room. Who else could probably use a run through there? He's level 23. So, like, kind of everyone... Kind of everyone. <laughs> so I might do that. Take everybody through there. It's going to take me a while. But uh, makes sense to get everybody up to the Hunter's level. So we'll see you in the next one. And then maybe do a couple missions depending on how things shake down. Do a hero up with, with Wolverine to get the research unlocked. And uh, it should be fun. Thank you guys. Bye for now.